Hello everyone and welcome back to my crafting world. This is Anna. Guys, I had a video, a tutorial request, I don't know how many weeks ago and I still haven't uh, done it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it today. I guess I haven't done it because I feel like it's really simple, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for you guys. I, um, my allergies are always really bad and I am going to show you how I have made this tissue box cover. It is so, so easy. Um, and this is what sits next to my bed. And of course you can, you know, decorate it. I made it in, I mean, so fast because, um, you know, it's just a box and it does fit on there really snug. And that's what I wanted because I hate to pick up a box and then just pick up the, um, cover and the box of tissue stays um at the you know on the table but this is really fast and it's uh and like i said it does feel really really snug it fits really really snug so i'm going to make one with you guys today and that is the inside that's what the inside looks like and it um goes on really easily but it stays snug so what you will need of course is a box of tissue and i got these from uh the dollar tree i figured that was something that everyone can um instead of you know all the companies have their own box size so i figured you know dollar tree scotties are uh you know available probably everywhere every dollar tree but i went ahead and used that and that is what i am going to use again today so for this box i am going to use the dots and stripes paper from my design team package and this one does come from asc crafts and i'll leave the link in the description box in case you guys want to go over there and visit them and see what they have and don't forget to use my 10 percent off coupon on non-sale items so I am also going to use the Dear Santa by Cartabella and yes, this is from ASC Craft Supplies. So I'm going to use this one right here. And let me show you what you are going to need besides the tissue box. You are going to need your scoreboard, okay? And then you are going to need also two pieces of cardstock and obviously the thicker the better um because it's sturdier but it fits so snug that i really don't feel like i needed to use the 110 pound cardstock that i used for the first one so you need two pieces of cardstock that are five and five eighths by nine and a quarter and then for the for the top you're going to need a piece that is four and three eighths by four and three eighths and then you are also going to need some nesting dies i'm going to use the round one on this one i used a oval one um, but i'm going to use the round one for this one so the first thing we need to do is set aside the top okay because we're not going to use that just yet we're not going to do anything with that and then on your uh, five and five eighths um, pieces, you are going to score at, okay, on the nine and a quarter inch side, you're going to score at half an inch. You see, half an inch right here on the nine and a quarter inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch, okay? And then you're going to turn it on the five and five eighths inch side and you're going to score again at half an inch, okay? And then we're gonna turn it again. We're gonna rotate it and this is the side that is not scored. We're gonna turn it again to the nine and a quarter inch side and we're gonna score at four and three eighths, okay? So there's four and three eighths, one, Three. okay we're gonna score right there you're not going to score on this corner okay you're gonna do that for both of your um, of your pieces of cardstock that are the same size the larger ones okay so I've already scored this one 
and this is your top the one that has the um the one uh, the half inch score mark that is your top so what we are going to do is we this is your bottom it has no score lines so on this one i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and fold this okay and this isn't 110 pound cardstock so i'm just going to fold it with my with my fingers so let me fold this as well and then let me fold this one okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold that center line and we are going to cut a slit you know just to make a tab okay i just cut up to that first uh, uh to that score mark okay and then we're going to do the same right here cut a little tab and then right here we're, we're going to do the same we're just going to cut from one side to the other to make that tab and then at the bottom we're going to do the same just make a little tab corner right there because these become tabs okay you're going to do that to both pieces of cardstock okay guys the next thing we're going to do is we're going to join these right here okay we're going to join this to the inside of this one we're going to glue this to the side that does not have the score mark on it okay so you can use um of course double-sided tape for this Okay, we're gonna glue it right. Do not go past that score mark. You don't you do not want to cover that score mark. So you can see your score mark. It's hard to tell because it's pattern paper, but you do not want to cover your score mark. So at this point, you can go ahead and cover these with your pattern paper or whatever else decoration you're gonna put on there. But I'm gonna wait until it's actually on the box because it's easier, at least for me. So I'm going to put glue on this side. I'm going to fold it this way and I am going to glue it down. Make sure that you're even at the bottom, okay? And as you can see, I did not go over that score mark. And here is my box, okay? So if I put my tissue box in here, or put it on my tissue box, you can see the first fitting is really snug. And it's, it's a little difficult because you don't, uh, you know, have you know, the, the, the hardness of a 110 pound cardstock, but it goes on there. And then there you go. Okay. That fits really snug around our box. And I love that. Now this is going to go on the top after we, um, you know, die cut a hole there for the tissue itself. So I'm going to go ahead and take my nesting dies and I am going to use the small circle and then when I cut my mat I'm going to use the larger one to go around it this way okay so you need the larger one for your top mat the smaller one for your bottom top okay let me die cut that real quick all right guys here we go I have cut the center out with my smaller die. I'm gonna use this one in a little bit. And this will go glued to the top of your box, okay? 
before I do that, I'm not gonna glue it down. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my mat because I want my circles centered as much as possible. So I'm going to trace this onto my mat so I can see where to place my other die. So my mat for this is going to be, um, I'm gonna do four by four, and this is where my pattern paper is going to come in. Okay guys, so this is the four by four that I'm going to use for the top mat of my, uh, you know, of the, of the top of the box. So what I'm gonna do is align it as, you know, as good as I can. And then I am going to actually align it on the bottom. Okay, so that's that's pretty even. You know me, I, I love to eyeball. So I'm going to take, put this down. I'm going to take my pencil and I am going to trace this circle right here, okay? So I have traced the circle on to this pattern paper. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that my circle is pretty even on here because this one goes on top, so this one has to be wider so I could see the bottom, okay? So I am going to cut right there. It's about even to me. Okay, here you go, guys. So I have got these cut out right here. There we go, guys. It's gonna go down this way. So let me go ahead and put glue on this top one and glue it down. Oops. I'm looking at things from an angle here, guys, so it's not... Okay. So there's our top. And then we're going to glue this onto the top of our box. Okay? So let me put glue. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit more. I don't want it to overlap. Because then it becomes bulky corners become bulky okay now I'm gonna go ahead and put glue see how easy it is to work with the box in it and notice how I'm not going all the way to the edge with the glue what I'm gonna do is go all the way to the edge on here, on the lid or the top. For some reason, I can't hold it steady today, guys. Okay, and I'm gonna go around this opening. Now I'm going to put it down There we go, guys. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, guys. Now, for the side mats, I think I did four and three quarters by four. Four. Four and three quarters by four. So I'm gonna cut four of the four and three quarter by four mats for this. Okay, so I have my mats that are four and three quarters by four, and I am going to glue them down right here, one on each side. All right, guys, it is completed. Like I said, it was really fast and easy. Um, what I did to this was I went ahead and cut out these corners, and uh, that way I could tie some mirror cardstock that I used um, around. These are the cut aparts, so I just cut them out to fit, um, you know, each side, and then I cut out some mirrored cardstock just to give it a little, you know, a little something to break up the all the patterns running together. And here is this side. 
and then this side this is my favorite I love the Santa and then uh, this one and then so you know to tie in the mirrored cardstock I just cut out some corners uh, with a die that I had in my stash and uh, put them right there and I think it laid it, it gave it quite a different look so of course you can decorate it you know however it is that you want to but um i did tell you to do one thing or i did one thing and i didn't realize that um what i was doing something just happened and i guess i wasn't thinking straight so when i was gluing this mat onto the top of the box i put glue on the underside of the top of the top you know the of the top that goes on the box and glued my bo the top to my box of tissue. Luckily, I was able to um, pry it away without any damage, but um, yeah, make sure, can you see that? Yeah, make sure you don't add any glue to the round part of the top of the box because you will glue it to the top of your tissue box. And you know, in, in, in all honesty, I kind of figured that even if I didn't use 110 pound cardstock, this would turn out to be pretty sturdy because of the layering I was planning to do. And it, and it is, it's, it's pretty sturdy. And then, like I said, the very first time you put it in there, it's kind of hard to, you know, put it in there, but then your paper molds or, you know, to your box and it's a lot easier to slide in and out. And that way you can replace your tissue box uh, easily. So there is my project of the day. I love how these turned out. Um, I am going to put this one in the living room. Like I said, my allergies are so bad. I use tissue constantly. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for uh, tuning in and watching me do this tutorial. I know it was kind of short, but it's really, really easy. All right, guys. Thank you so much again for watching and y'all have a wonderful day.